Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Lightmatica for Minecraft Java in 2025. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you're interested, but all you have to do here is simply go to your search bar and search up a website called ModRinth, like so. Once you entered, you should see ModRinth.com, Simply click on ModRinth, and now you're on the home page on ModRinth. All you have to do here is simply go to the top of the website to discover content, and go down to Mods. Now, all you want to do is click on Search Mods, and then you want to type in Lightmatica. Like so. And here you'll see Lightmatica. Simply click on Lightmatica, and then you'll be sent to this page. And now all you have to do is simply click on versions. And you have to select the game version that you want to play. You can do this by clicking game versions here. And having an easy filter for the version that you want. So for example, if we want the latest Minecraft version, so 1.2.4. We just click 1.2.4. And then we have the versions that we can download. So for example, if we want the 1.2.4 version, which is for Fabric. We will be using Fabric, so just use Fabric in this case. Simply click the green download button that shows up. And now you have Lightmatica in your downloads folder. And now Lightmatica uses other mods to work, which are called dependencies. And then we can check them by simply going to the version name here. And now we can see that we have dependencies. Here we have Malalib. So, all we have to do here is simply click Malilib and now we can go on versions just like we did with the previous mod, Lightmatica. And now we can select the game version here, which is 1.2.4, and Fabric. And to make it nice and simple, you can do the same thing, just select the version that you want. And we have the same thing here. So it's just an easy way of making it work. So here we can see that we have everything that we want, so just click download. And now we need to check if we have any dependencies for Malilib. And we can do this by going to the version name and going down. And here we see that we don't have any dependencies. Although uh, with Lightmatica, it's always good to have an other mod, which is called Fabric API. And to get Fabric API, even though it's not noted here, you simply want to go to Discover Content, down to Mods, and you want to take Fabric API. It's the first thing here for a reason. It's a very popular mod because some mods needed it and it doesn't always say it. It's important to have Fabric API as well. So simply click Fabric API and this is just like Malilib or Lightmatica. Click versions, click game versions and click the version that you want. Here the only difference is that you're going to have some beta releases. Just take the releases version if you have them for your version. Just click download and now you're done. So, all you want to do here is simply go to a new tab to go and get yourself Fabric. To get Fabric, you have to simply type in your search bar Fabric Minecraft. So, simply do Fabric Minecraft. Like so. And here you should see a website called FabricMC.net. Simply click on Fabric, and now you're on the homepage for Fabric. So, all you have to do is simply click the blue download button and then click Download for Windows. And now we have Fabric Installer as well as the required mods to make Lightmatica work. So, now what we can do is simply close the web browser and we can now open up our file explorer to access our download folder. Like so. And once you're in your downloads folder, you should see your downloaded mods. And all you need to do here is simply double click the Fabric Installer first. And you should have a little window here, just select the game version. And once you selected the game version that you want, which matches with these mods, simply do install, OK, and close. Now, you want to open up your Minecraft launcher. And it can take a couple seconds, and all we will have to do is add Lightmatica, Malilib, and Fabric API in the mods folder. Here you can see that we have Fabric Loader here, all good. And all we need to do here is simply go to the top of the launcher to Installations. And now we can go to Fabric Loader here and go to the folder icon 
and now you're in your dot minecraft folders so all you want to do here is simply click your mods folder once you found it and double click it and now all you want to do is click your downloads folder you want to select and copy the three mods go to your previous folder using back to mods aka the top left arrow and click paste now you will have Fabric, API, Mylolib, and Lightmatica Fabric in the dot Minecraft Mods folder. That's what you want. So, once you're done, simply go back to the Minecraft Launcher, go to Play, make sure that Fabric Loader is selected. If it is, click Play, and all the required files and folders for Fabric will download, and then you'll be able to use Lightmatica. Alrighty. So, once Minecraft has opened, all you want to do is simply go to a single player world and once you selected your world, you simply want to start using Lightmatica. So, for example, here we're in a normal world and if we click M, we will have the Lightmatica menu. And I won't go in too much detail here because I already made an other tutorial which was quite long on how to use Lightmatica, but if you're interested with this, you just simply create schematics we just basically select an area you load this area basically you copy it as an actual schematic file and just paste it around it does a fancy way of copy pasting world areas into other worlds as well and then just you can also give other people your schematics as well that's something you can do over there which, which is pretty useful but it is quite complicated to explain it so i just explain this in the other video which will also be in the description as well so in today's video, I showed you how to get Lightmatica for Minecraft Java in 2025. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!